Today I'm speaking with Greg Bowes of Northern Graphite. How are you today, Greg? I'm very well, thank you, Tracy. You just recently announced some very exciting news about a new battery testing and research facility. Can you please tell us more about this announcement? Yes, uh, we're uh, quite excited about it. I mean, the ultimate goal here, I think, for all graphite companies is we want to see electric vehicles succeed. And uh, part of that is we need better batteries. We need lower cost batteries. We need more uh, environmentally friendly uh, processing uh, techniques. And that is what this uh, facility is designed to achieve. So correct me if I'm wrong, Greg, your facility is going to be in Tennessee, is that correct? That is correct. So perhaps I'm projecting here, but there's numerous advantages to being located in Tennessee, is there not? I mean, wasn't the Saturn GM factory uh, built in Tennessee? Uh, well, that may be true, but uh, unfortunately it's probably more of a coincidence. Uh, the main reason it's in Tennessee is um, Dr. Ed Buell, who is leading our research and managing this facility, he already has a setup there, and we have, um, he's recently added a lot of equipment to that facility. Um, part of that is the result of work that he's doing for us. There is other equipment that we're going to be adding. So he already had all the infrastructure, the people, everything there, and so that is uh, one of the reasons we partnered with him, and that is why is it, it is in Tennessee. Today I went on to Dr. Boole's website to do some research. I see he's got over 30 years of professional experience, specifically in the lithium ion and battery storage uh, area. Can you give us more background? Um, yes, if we go back a couple of years, um, obviously uh, the graphite companies were a new story and the lithium ion batteries and all that good stuff. And we wanted to demonstrate that our graphite uh, would make a good quality anode material for batteries. There are no impurities, there are no fatal flaws in the material. We can produce it in a cost competitive manner. And what we found out when we tried to go through that process is there is no one-stop shop where you can just go and have all of that work done. So we had it done by a patchwork of different consultants, manufacturers in Canada, the US, uh, Japan, China, and it was a very slow, complicated, uh, expensive process, but we ultimately did get to the end where we have produced spherical graphite, which is the product that is used to make the anodes and lithium ion batteries. We've actually tested it in cells, and it works very, very well. And so we just thought we've already been through all this process. We are very comfortable with the quality of our graphite the quality of our product and uh, the results we are getting. So we decided we would make um, our experience, our knowledge, our expertise available to everybody else in the industry because again, we want better batteries, we want lower cost batteries, we want um, uh, higher growth rates in the use of lithium ion batteries and ultimately electric vehicles and that, that benefits everybody. Now, for some of the Investor Intel audience that may not be familiar with Northern Graphite, you were one of the first to uh, get your environmental permits. Was that not correct? Uh, yes, we've been pretty well first all the way down the line, starting with the fact that we were the first real new public company in the graphite space when um, graphite started to get on everybody's radar screens. Uh, we were the first to complete a preliminary economic assessment, the first to complete a bankable feasibility study, the first to get our major environmental permit, the first to produce and test spherical graphite, and we very much hope we are going to be the first new graphite mine in production in the West in over 20 years. So what would you consider your competitive advantage to be with the graphite that you have, I don't know, in comparison with your competitors, for instance? Uh, yes, that's, that's kind of a two-edged sword. Um, if you look at our deposit relative to other deposits, uh, they tend to be uh, much higher grade than ours. Uh, but industrial minerals are different than uh, base and precious metals where everybody gets the same price. In industrial minerals like graphite, prices vary uh, according to quality. 
so the fact that we have uh, 90 percent large and extra large flake and nobody else is at 50 gives us a big pricing advantage but the second side of uh, other side of that coin is that our cost to um, produce a, a ton of graphite uh, drilling blasting loading uh, hauling excuse me our cost to um, process a ton of ore is about 15 or 16 dollars per ton everybody else is at uh, somewhere between 60 and 120 dollars a ton so let me re let me repeat that that's fifteen dollars versus sixty to one hundred and twenty so when you add those two factors together and do the math uh, that basically eliminates their great advantage and makes the economics of our project better thank you for the update today greg so what should we as shareholders anticipate over the next two uh, quarters yes i mean we uh... again it's a good news bad news story the good news is we have our bank feasibility study done and we have our major environmental permit so the news flow is slower. Uh, we're pretty much entirely focused on uh, financing, strategic partnerships, slash offtake agreements. Um, and uh, our goal there is to be in a position to be uh, start to start construction uh, sometime around the middle of next year and be in production by the end of 2016. So that is basically what we're working towards. Thank you, Greg, so much for joining us today. Well, thank you very much, Tracy.